Welcome to everybody from the Orthodontist Convention. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Netflix Explorers podcast. The podcast bringing you these movies just like The Ring into Mordor from the 1890 studios. My name is Dale. I'm nice and full on these, uh, the 1890 Studios complimentary dishes and desserts upstairs. Very nice, I might say. I'm Adam. And my name's Patrick, and I'm pondering, what do we do with the drunken podcaster? Hey, everybody, Steve here. And I'm just uh, going into decrepitude and uh, style. (laughs) Today we're going over the Norsemen, baby Babylon Berlin, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Please, please. Stick around. Hello! Did you say baby? I said ba- I saw a baby, and I just, my mind said you're done reading that baby. word. <laughs> baby, lie. baby, baby, lie. You did, you uh, you guess read it. Baby, yeah, lie, I guess read it. I do that all the time. You know we do this podcast on the fly. You know, Papa Steve, you're back. Hey man, and I'm telling you what, it's great to be here. I haven't been here in like a long. It's time. been a long time. We got a new intern. I was just going to ask who's the intern. Uh, I haven't gotten many emails, Adam. Who is our intern? Bertrand? Bertrand. He's Bertrand. been. He's been doing. Oh, Purdue. it's a he. It's a he. I did not know that. Well, we still have uh, Donna still working upstairs as well. You saw her. Okay, again. I saw her at the elevators. Yeah, she's, she's been burning up so much money. We can only do three <laughs> interns. Yeah, you know, really? we can't pay anymore. Yeah, we're growing. We need more staff. Outstanding. I don't think I've met Bertrand, but I'll uh, try to introduce myself next he's time. He's interesting. He's, is he? He's a character. Yeah, he's uh, he's really into chess. He's won a couple of chess championships. Ah. And um, he's into skeet shooting. So mm. that's 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 all I know that's about That's his him. thing. He talks yeah. about I saw him watching YouTube videos of a guy shooting. It was kind of weird. Everybody's got a hobby. Mm-hmm. Now, the year-end cast, Papa Steve, you... Uh, were beat out by Rob for favored guest. Just barely. Ah, right, Patrick? Patrick, what were it? Yeah, I think it was only by like two votes or something. There was like 25 million total votes. <laughs> he got like, I don't know. Some, 23 I, of those were me. Yeah. 23 million or? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And you yeah, were voting refresh. for Rob? No, for me. Yeah. Uh, so well, you 20, got beat out by 23 million by Rob? No, 20, you got, I think it was like 2 million. So yeah. Yeah, 2018 is a new year. Working. Yeah, well, right. you're back. Actually, right. I'm back. That's all right. Has Rob been on in 2018? Oh, he hasn't. Oh, I think so he, you're you're he's like in, up. he's in retirement. I thought. Well, he's, I know he's taken a little bit of a sabbatical, but um, and I have to be honest, I robbed one of these movies. Oh, so there we go. First one up. Did you rob the Norseman? I watched all of them. I didn't quite finish all of them, but I did watch all of the Norsemen. You started it, okay? The Norseman is a 2016 film. Set in 790 A.D., Viking, help me out? Vicane. Vicane features, uh, Vicane. It's Italian, right? (laughs) Features the daily challenges of people living in a small Viking village, from power struggle, brother rivalry, gender equality, to betrayal and friendship. 7.8 IMDb. It's a comedy. Uh, Not not 7.8. That's what it says? That can't be. I don't know how. Um... Uh, let's see. We just watched the first episode, but it is a 12 episode series, 30 minutes a piece. So Adam, you want to go ahead and roll the trailer? Sure. They're rowing in a nice Viking long ship. Yeah. Horses. Skull. Drinking things out of wooden mugs. Yes. Oh, well. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, he's getting peed in the mouth. Oh, that's not good. Oh, only Luke, it's good to see you, brother. <laughs> so tell me, then where have you been? What have you done? You should be really proud of your wife, no. at least. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, Freya dove into that pillaging 100%. Uh-huh. Yeah. Even took part in quite a lot of the raping. Huh? I could get into Freya the Viking chicks. I'm not going to lie. I didn't seem really a little rough to that. I was totally yeah, that's what I'm blown saying. away when I suddenly saw her on top of this monk. It reminds <laughs> me of Gertrude. Oh, you know what? So I miss Gertrude. Right? I'm not going to. She was a good girl. Sturdy. <laughs> so they're in Viking battles. Raping, pillaging. A lot of raping. <laughs> what if he shot an arrow and he missed? Pulled off one of my thumbs and put it back on. You can't do that. It's impossible. Thumbs are stuck. <gasps> oh, 
ripped his tongue off and took it right back again. He's and a witch. he's not even bleeding. <laughs> so he did the old thumb, I pull your the thumb off, thumb off trick. The old uncle pull the thumb off trick. Right, right. It's as basic as it can possibly get. Vakame. Okay. Uh, Adam, talk to me about this one. Norseman. What is, uh, you're the DACA master. What did you see in this one? What are we pulling out of this one? All right. So I picked it. It's been on, it was on my queue for a long time. It was just something I wanted to check out, see if it was any good. 7.8 IMDb, uh, $2.8 million budget. Um, basically what it is, it's a comedy taking place in a, in Viking times. Sure. So they play into that a lot. Like they'll make a lot of jokes like, oh, your wife was actually part of the raping. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so that's pretty much the whole show. Right. And it's. Yeah. So that about <laughs> sums it up. Yeah. There was a, uh, I thought it was. These period comedies are very interesting. I feel like no one gets them exactly right. You're right. Since probably Holy Grail, I have not seen a period piece <laughs> nail the comedy <laughs> right. aspect yeah. since then. You know what I mean? Sure. It's kind of like, yeah, it's a different society makeup. That's funny. Like, use right. that. But they they don't quite... It's trying to blend it with like a different kind of humor. and it's Sure. It's well, more, yeah, you're trying to bring in like modern humor and speak... And then set it in that era. It's a tough and thing to do. It's hard to hit the mark. It is. It is very tough. Patrick, what do you think about this? Sorry to cut you off, Adam. Do you have more to go? No, I'm good. Okay. Actually, I had nothing, so I'm glad you cut me off. <laughs> Patrick, what do you think about this one? Did you go on be uh, past episode one? No, I I watched the first episode and I thought it was it was pretty good. I okay. mean, it kind of just abruptly ends that first episode. But yeah. You you could kind of see what they're setting up for because like it's I don't want to call it the pilot because I mean they already have. Uh, their season set up like they know what they're going to do sure. so they did a little bit of set up with this and then kind of developed one of the first characters which was pretty nice but um it, a lot of the comedy was forced in this like you guys are talking yeah. how it's hard to do it just felt like it was not organic they right. weren't uh talking it was a lot of jumping around too because like they would finish a not a storyline but they would finish a uh like a what that character needed to say in that scene and they would just pick it up right at the next person but there was like no like smooth like star mm-hmm. swipe to the next person or anything it was it was just really abrupt it was <laughs> it was star wiped the next yeah, person it was it was difficult nice. it was difficult to watch but it was it was still funny for me so okay All stuff right. you should know <laughs> yeah Papa Steve, what did you think about this one? Did, uh, you said you watched the whole thing. I watched the whole okay, thing. Okay, what did you I think? Thought, I thought it was pretty funny. Did you go beyond episode one? I didn't. I, okay. don't, do, I don't do series. Stick to the rules. I don't do series. I okay. watched episode one. I thought it was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could see where they were going. It was cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. It was. It didn't holy cow, I got to watch the next one. No. Yeah, you didn't feel that. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. This first episode just kind of set it up. I don't care if we blow this one, I guess, as opposed to last week where you. I hope everyone watched the interview. Oh, my goodness. Uh, How great was that movie? Very good. We're ready to blow it? Uh, yeah, maybe later. <laughs> um, but this sets up. There's two things going on. One is uh, it starts off where a like raiding party is coming back. Uh, to their home base, I guess you would say, like their little village. And right away, you're like, okay, I had no idea this was a comedy. I'm like, Norseman? I didn't either. I didn't either. So they go, you know, all of a sudden, one of the guys that's rowing the Viking ship, which, what's the name of a Viking ship? Longboat. Thank you. Um, He, like, turns around and he goes, you know, we've been rowing for 12 hours and I haven't had any water. Like, there's got to be some sort of regulation against this. And then once he starts talking like that, I'm like, wait, was that supposed to be a joke? And then, like, it kept going and there was, like, more conversations later on. And they were t- they were interacting and I went, is that supposed to be a, a joke? Or is this supposed to be funny or are we, we still in uh, Viking times here? I'm, am I missing something? I was doing the same thing. I'm going, okay, wait a minute. This is a comedy. I said, I didn't know that. Are you trying to make a joke here? And as Adam said, it's tough to do, and they did not land a lot of those punchlines. So, I mean, you you go on, there's uh, obviously somebody was put in charge of the village while the main uh, guy was out, and he didn't 
do, wasn't doing well, and he I turns thought he on. was freaking hilarious. I, I thought that guy was funny. I mean, his style of acting, uh, like his type of comedy, could work, but it just didn't. He was throwing it out there, and it wasn't wasn't sticking. It was so awkward. <laughs> Yeah. I think I like the awkwardness. Was it awkward because it was just bad, or was it awkward because it was supposed to be? I, I think it was awkward because, like, he wasn't of the mindset that the rest of them were. Okay. So he's kind of like the outsider running the city. Hey, guys. I think it's it, it, it was like the office. Yeah, he's the Michael Viking, you know, the Viking village. Like, there he's Michael go. Scott. and Perfect. He's Perfect saying, analogy. He's yeah. saying awkward things. And okay. Like, okay, Perfect good away. analogy. I actually watched the second episode just because I wanted to give it a you know, fair sure, shake. I wasn't sure. too impressed by the first episode. Second episode, uh, that that part in the in the trailer where he's pulling the thumb off, is, yes. is in the second episode, right. and I laughed at that part. I was like, yeah. ah, okay, that's pretty." And funny. then I, I think I bled into that one a little bit because he starts to like mime, and you know, yeah. mime, he's like in a box, and he's like, "Look, look, he's looking, he's peeking around a corner," and <laughs> and they're all like amazed by yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, you're bringing in modern. I mean, not modern comedy, but you're doing something that they haven't seen. So that's the funniness. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll through some notes here. This was simultaneously recorded in both Norwegian and English language. So, because I was looking, I'm like, man, they are very Nordic. Are, but I was watching their lips, and this isn't subtitled. I mean, this isn't dubbed. They just did a scene in Norwegian, then did a scene in English, huh? Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. That's because, interesting. Yeah, because it's. Because it has the title, uh, The Norseman, here, and then it has the title in... Vicamane. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, Italian. <laughs> so. uh, 13 of the actors have all had a role in Netflix TV series Lily Hammer, hmm. which I didn't watch that. Who is the lead in Lily Hammer? Ah, oh, it's that one guy. I forget his name. Anyway, look it up. Steve Carell. <laughs> mm. uh, also... <laughs> <laughs> All scenes were first shot uh, with Norwegian dialogue, then in English. The Norwegian version is called Viking. Uh, Viking. Produced by NRK. And Norway. <laughs> Pop Steve, can I get a translation on that? Uh, the English version can be seen on Netflix. Uh, very cool. So, I don't know. What is? Uh, what do we add to this one? It's just kind of a silly, goofy... Uh, yeah, but... I I don't, what's the goal? I mean, we didn't watch the whole. Se- we didn't watch all ten episodes, so I don't know what they accomplished. But this setup thing, it really didn't uh, want me to keep going. I didn't. I didn't see anything rewarding. No, I didn't laugh out loud once. Okay, I didn't even breathe heavily through my nose at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're like, it's just like there's the slave, and he's like, we need to sacrifice slaves to Odin. And the slave is like, are you sure? You know, you might want to stop at See, two slaves. He was my, he was, was my favorite character. I, I it felt, was pretty funny because he's felt, like, well, I'm a slave, so yeah, like, but getting I mean, burnt is like, yeah, but, well, yeah. But okay, it's it's pretty funny. But it's not really funny. Right. No. You know right, what I mean? Right. It's, 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 it wasn't episode too funny. Yeah. It, was, it was like a perfect SNL skit. Thank you. They yeah. tried making it into a TV show. <laughs> Well, right. I was kind of feeling that it was ripped straight from Monty Python's Holy Grail because there was that one part where he's like digging the mud and then like they start questioning like the societal standards and all okay. that stuff. So I, I kind of felt like I was like, all right, well, they're pulling from here, which I'm on board with, and then they're going to pull from here and then they're adding a little bit of new stuff with the Norwegian mm. stuff. But I, I just couldn't dive into Too it as much as I wanted. Too many things in the pot, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's run through our pros and cons unless we got anything else to add. Uh, with this one, Norseman Adam, do a pros con, sell it or kill it. Pros, it makes you go, haha. But cons, it doesn't make you really laugh out loud. So it's yeah. just, it's not funny enough to continue watching. But I mean, you watch it, you're not going to be upset. Sure, you, you don't know. waste your time. It's just not. A, it's just you don't want to invest all your time. Right. All ten episodes is an investment. Sure, it's not worth the investment, in my opinion. I'm going to echo what he said. That's your pros cons. That's exa- It's exactly the same thing. It was like. I didn't I didn't waste my time watching it, but I'm not going to waste any more time going into other more episodes. Sure. Patrick, pros, cons? Yeah, pros. I mean, they're 30-minute episodes, so I mean, if you want to speed through them, you could go through them. If you like it, you're going to love it. The first episode, that is. And my cons, it was like a lot of the bits didn't land for me, so yeah. I, I just don't feel like I'm the person that's going to watch it, but I'm sure there's somebody out there, probably in Nor- Norway, that really, really likes it. So. Right. Well, you know, the Normans are Norsemen 
Ooh. Right. And you so guys we should have like, thought oh. this was hilarious. So we do have a lot of Viking. Maybe because we watched it in English, not our native tongue. That's probably what it was. Viking on it. Lost something in uh, the translation, <laughs> yeah, if you know what I'm saying. It's got to be. Yeah, it. it's, okay. it's way more funny in the fluke and half and whatever language you guys. <laughs> you have a kind of body, you know what I mean? No, uh, my pros, cons, kind of same as Patrick. I mean, it just... Uh, uh, same as everybody. It's just, it's not funny. I mean, it's funny enough you can sit through it, but it's uh, not funny enough to keep going. That's your con. Is you're I'm not, not going to set the DVR. I don't think you're going to be brought into episode two. But um, uh, so Adam, if I can just guess your rewatch and recommend, you're going to say no and no. That's correct. Patrick, what's your recommend uh, rewatch recommendation? I'm looking at my notes and I wrote down yes and yes, and I can't figure out why I wrote that. So I mean, actually, no, I'm not going to rewatch it, and no, I'm not going to recommend it. So maybe I just auto correct it again. Pop Steve, I'm Re- a no and no. Yeah, I yeah. changed Patrick. I'm not sorry I watched it, but <laughs> I'm, not gonna, nice. I'm not going to keep going. Okay, yeah, um, same thing. No and no for me. But Papa Steve, can you bring it down Lick Store Isle? I cannot. No. Because liquor stores didn't exist in that era. I, you know, yeah, and you, you know, you're gonna do the mead. You're gonna yeah, do that the, was what I had written down. Uh, this, nah, I, yeah, I, I got nothing. Yeah, Patrick. Well, I gave it a honey mead, so okay. Uh, but honey mead is good. I mean, but what else are you gonna give it? Yeah, because well, I had a honey mead once, didn't like it, and then I found a honey mead in the store, and I was like, oh, I'll try it, and then I liked that one. So it's kind of like it's just hit or miss. You got to be in the oh. right mood. So it's like hit or miss. Some of them are this good, guy. some of them are bad. Nice. There you go, Adam. You got one over there. Uh, yeah. So I wrote down. Uh, this is a natural ice beer. Natty. Natural, natural, natty ice. Yeah. Light. Um, you know. One time, Rob came over. He left a case in my fridge. Mm. You know, and then classic I, Rob. So then I'm like, you know what? It's Sunday night. I'm home by myself. Maybe I'll crack open a few nanny ices. Have a good time. I open one. I drink it, and I'm like, <laughs> nanny ice. <laughs> that wasn't what I. Yeah, I don't want to drink anymore. You're not going to go through another. This nine. is not worth getting drunk <laughs> off of. <laughs> Right. So I'm going to walk this away. This doesn't deserve my surprise. I washed one. That's enough. <laughs> right. I'm just going to make some tea and go to bed. <laughs> and think about what I've just done. Yeah. Go to your room and think about what you've done. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had mead written down. Uh, our friend of the show, Kyle. That's it, all they drink, isn't yeah, it? Uh, yeah. Friend of the show, Kyle, makes his own mead. He's a mead man. Mm, Self-made mead, mead man. man. Self-mead man. Um, Say that ten this episode is brought to you by Kyle's Meads. <laughs> Kyle's Meads. Honey, Kyle's Meads. Uh, honey beer made by a honey bear. You can get that at bojacksonbobblehead.com. Um, but, like, I don't like mead, but someone else might like mead, like Kyle. Or so, 7th century Vikings. Exactly. Meads so it's us. not for me, but it could be for others. That's what I'm doing. What do you think, Patrick? It's not a me mead. But it could be you mead. <laughs> I, really I sub- mead. <laughs> we all mead. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Patrick? I was really surprised they didn't call it a Viking's blood. That uh... I was thinking about that, actually. Yeah, that's but then I decided it doesn't deserve the thought. <laughs> that actually makes sense. <laughs> Didn't we have yeah, that's, that's why I, yeah, we had this Viking didn't blood. S, didn't S. Joel? S. Joel, a uh, friend of the podcast, sjoelnorman.com. He uh, actually been on S. Joel Norman.com. Yeah. Right. He's, what's his site again? S. Joel Norman. S- okay, I believe. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Um, yeah, he brought over this. It wasn't glass. Was it in like a... Uh, ceramic. It, it was like a ceramic thing. It was Vikings blood. Vikings blood. The oldest known alcoholic recipe on the planet. Am mm-hmm. I right in saying that? Yes. Um, I don't think so. I th- that's what it said on the packaging. We're gonna well, go, I think the packaging's incorrect. Double okay. Chuck Natty Ice. Because so. I know... It's the oldest Viking recipe. Right. I know yeah. they paid the workers on the pyramids with beer. Hmm. But that was after the Vikings came and pillaged the Egyptians. Yeah. And that's how we got the Sphinx. So it's science. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no said. No said. But anyway, no, that could, that Viking blood, we all tried it here. And we're all, we all went like, hmm, that's hmm. interesting. But we never went. Went another one? <laughs> no. We never no. went for another glass. And we all had it here at the podcast. So we can all attest to that. But thank you to S. Joel Norman. S. S. Joel Norman. Norman.com. For, uh, for graciously supr- su- uh, supplying us. Obviously, we've had too much already. Um, He's on Spotify. He is on Spotify, everybody. iTunes. S. Joel Norman.com. <laughs> Yeah, this podcast is actually brought to you by it. Norseman and sjoelnorman dot com. We will move quickly along to our next one. This is Babylon Berlin Babylon. Yes. Oh, oh interesting. Tomato, <laughs> tomato. <laughs> now, 
Papa Steve, read our uh, read the do you have your glasses on? Read the uh, little show tag, notes t- tagline there. IMDb eight point five crime drama history sixteen episode at one hour. Uh, so that read, means one hour episodes. Is that yeah, one hour episodes. Okay, read budget forty. <laughs> the real short episode. I'm still working. Forty on the million episode. euros. Show notes. Most expensive non English language drama series ever made in history. Ever made in history. And also most expensive German TV series at the time of its first season release with a budget of at approximately 40 million euros. <laughs> Octolieber. Ooh. There we Sorry. go. Sorry. Uh, now read the, uh, read the tagline under the title there. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Cologneian. Cologneian? That's what, Colonian, Colonian? But it's not Colonian. Colonian Commissioner <laughs> Roth. Moves to Berlin, the epicenter of political and social changes in the Golden Twenties. Roll that trade. Oh, here we go. I'd like to buy a vowel. Berlin, 1929. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. The photos are looking very good. And Frauen mit the ground. Guten Morgen. There are no Frauen. I Good like our green hat, Fraulein. In the tactic metal field, in the hot. So, what are we going through? So, this that dude's got the, uh, what do we call that? That shit, like shell shock. He has to take the, yeah. what is he taking? I don't know. It was something pretty epic, though. He had to bust off the glass top. Yeah. He had some shots going on. I can him the hund in the dinner hood in the hot shit. The hund of the ich will. Papa you Steve, are on the Papa Steve you're supposed to be giving translations. Oh, I'm sorry. I was doing the German. Babylon Berlin. So that is uh, Babylon Berlin. It, uh, yeah, New York City. Patrick got it in the notes here. I, it was very. Oh, was that you, Adam? Put him in the notes. I see. I have that little note there. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> I see it. No, it's very cool. I love the twenties. It's a very interesting time. We some people like Viking times. Hey, it's a cool era, I suppose. But this is a cool time. Uh, you know, it's a cool look, cool feel. So, uh, I thought it was episode one. It um, for me took a lot to set up. Uh, what did you think, Adam? I mean, did, did you feel like episode one gave you a good taste of what's going to happen, or did you feel kind of left out, like you almost needed to watch more to fully get the rest of it? I don't know. What do you yeah, think? it's a tease, man. It's, it's a tease. I, I kind of want to watch more. I'm not going to lie. Okay. After what, There's a lot going on. This is a great time to make a TV show. That's what I took away from it. Because, okay. okay, Germany's coming off of World War I. Oh, it's a great era. Yeah, it's a great okay. era. Like you know, then It's not like March 7 is a good time to start watching this. I well, maybe. <laughs> maybe good era, good time of the year. Right, okay. St. Patty's Day, 1920s Berlin. Uh-huh. Sometimes they go together. Say no more. PB&J. <laughs> so, and then, <laughs> but it's it's very cool because, okay, there's a lot going on in Germany at this time. You know, their kind of economy is destroyed, basically, from World War One. Sure. So people are trying to find work. And then, okay, then Nazism is coming along. Then you got Russian, uh, you got Russian like Marxists or wor- union Operative. operatives coming across the border. Um, you got a detective; they're trying to deal with World War One uh, PTSD veterans coming back. It's it's a cool time. This there's a lot going on here in you know, and it's, it's the twenties, so people are still very reserved and mm-hmm. like. Uh, so it's it's it, it was a very interesting time frame, and then they had a couple of cool. Uh, plot points going forward. One, they just a detective. The guy, the main character is a detective. Right. Starts out. There's a police guy from Cologne, a detective. Mm-hmm. He's got the he's got the shakes from war. He's a little mm-hmm. war weary. Sure. Shell shock, as you said. And um, he's on a case trying to solve. We don't really know the extent of the case. Sure. And then there's all of a sudden. So he's solving the case. Then you're learning about this woman who's trying to make ends meet mm-hmm. with her fa- supporter family in a tough time. And then you have, um, then you have like these Russians trying to do some kind of plot with a train. That's all right. you really know. See, th- okay, yeah. And right. then, so then, then there's like, so he's investigating this crime, and then they get bought in the crime boss, and like, what about this film? What's going on with the film? Mm-hmm. So the allegation is the detective is into some shady stuff with the film with the bad guys, and 
I don't know. There's a lot going on. See, and like, that's why we're just we just did episode one, and that's kind of why I was I was questioning. It's like, man, does did this get too busy right away to not hook me, or is there so much going on that it's like, dude, you gotta watch the next one because this stuff's crazy, right? I feel like I kind of want to watch the next one just because yeah. they threw so much crap at you, you yeah. that you want to see how it resolves. Sure. You know, I want to know what's going on with that train, dude. Yeah. What's the deal? <laughs> what's were, going on? They boosted the train. What's up with the film? Yeah. What film are they talking about? Right. Yeah. He's like reviewing all the films. That's crazy. And then what? And then the, the girl gets a job organizing uh, crime like, scene photos. Crime scene photos. And at the end of the episode, is... she runs into the main character and they kind of have a little interaction. A little so, eye, eye to eye. So where's that going? I mean, there's, mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. a lot There's a lot of open questions that make you want to keep watching. Yeah. Patrick, Babylon Berlin, what do you think, brother? This is this is, is really good. Yeah? It's really, 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 really good. Like, going, to, going to episode two good? Going into episode four good. Ooh. Oh! Oh! oh. Like, I, so, oh, thank God! I was I was hoping someone would watch more. Okay, talk oh to me. Yeah. Talk to me. I'm not going to spoil anything. Why'd you let me talk that whole time? Just go ahead. Because <laughs> I because I like watching. Right. <laughs> uh, no, this is this is this is top tier stuff right here. Okay. Yeah. So what I I made the mistake of starting it in English. Uh, yes. audio. I did that too. I did as well. Huge mistake. Really? Huge mistake. Yeah, I switched over to German once I realized it was dubbed. Yeah, it's it's dubbed. It's Which almost me as like bad minutes. as uh, Godzilla Part 1 dubbed. Okay. But like, when you talk about like missing something, mm. like you're missing everything. Emotion wise. Emotion. Like, okay. They'll, they'll be like, oh, I have so to go the to the text, park. The text, like the subtitle text is more descriptive than yeah. English? Okay. Definitely. definitely. I understand. In like, like I don't know about you, sorry to cut you off, but like, it's not as He's good. Not sorry. It's not as no, good it's when you watch it dubbed. It's yeah. just not as good. Right. I, I think I made it like three minutes into it with English audio, mm-hmm. and I was like, this, I'm, I, I'm missing everything, so you got to restart it, and like I said, I've, I've four episodes, and it's, oh my goodness. Papa Steve, do you, did you watch it with or without subtitles? Or, subtitles. You did. So, I did. Well, you could translate that anyway. Of course. But, I thought uh, it was- What'd you think? I thought it was- it was super trippy. I mean, like the intro. I liked the way the shots were. It looked gorgeous. I thought it was awesome. Um, I just wrote a. I wrote some notes here. About twenty eight minutes in, I'm, I wrote down what the heck is going yes. on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because there was about four or five stories going on. Everything was cool, but I'm like, what? Yeah. What is going on? And that's probably why I don't watch series because. It yeah. just, it just, you don't, you don't get any resolution right. in the, in that, and you have to keep watching, keep watching, keep right. watching. But it was super cool. I love the shots. I love the characters. Mm. It was. It's a cool era. Super awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you mean, and that's what, as Adam said, being super busy. There's a ton of stuff going on, but there had to be about four or five stories. Now, now, is this guy what? What does this have to do yeah. with the train? And this is the girl, and then the the film, and then the guy. Yeah, how do they connect? But I mean, <sighs> honestly, like you said, you don't do series. If this were a movie, it'd be a sixteen hour long movie. So when you look at one sixteenth of a film, should you know what's going on yet? Maybe not. So maybe but if I'm you not don't watch a sixteen hour movie, but either. I'm just saying, like if you look at the ratio and you <laughs> that's episode, way, uh, that's the way outside of the uh, the wheelhouse, the wheelhouse. <laughs> but uh, if Let's you be honest. <laughs> you you don't know what's you're already even if you started a film, you take a sixteenth of a regular size film, you're not really even going to know what's happening. But this one would almost be worth me going into the next one. The Norseman, nah, yeah, this one. I might even dig there's in a, because it was so cool. There's enough intriguing stories yep. going on. Okay, yep. and yeah. it was shot so cool, and it was interesting, and I just, I, I like the way it was put together. Yeah, like even the first three minutes of it, like it's kind of like showing you. Like, I'm trying to dance. I, it kind of shows you what happens, mm-hmm. and then like they're telling you the story. Kind of like Memento, where yeah. you don't have all after, the story at the beginning, but you're getting a little piece, little after the fact stuff. Yeah, so yeah. you get you get little sprinkles of what happened, and now you're getting like the slow push through all of it. Okay, and the, it, it's it's I wouldn't even say it, it's not stalling anywhere, but it's um it's building to something, and as it builds, the payoff is there, and you're like, oh, and then it keeps going, and then there's another payoff. You're like, well, it's oh. Yeah, it's, I, I can't. There's not words for it. It's just like sounds and. Oh, it's because like it's all grunts. in German. 
Yeah, so yeah, can't. grunts. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's words for it, but not in English. <laughs> right, you can't, you can't actually say them. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I mean, uh, what more is there to say, Adam? Do you have anything to add for that one? Uh, no, I just want to know what you thought about it. Did you like the German noir? I did like it. I liked it. I do think it was too busy for me, and I don't think I'm gonna like hop in. I'm gonna keep watching it. It didn't. Uh, capture I didn't, me. I didn't have that hook either. It didn't hook me. Yeah. And as we always say, the Papa Steve, make me feel something. I gotta the, feel it. The Papa Steve. And yeah. I don't think I did. I, I kind of have the feeling a little bit. Patrick, why don't you do pros and cons? Everybody, you got anything else? Nope, pros, cons. Patrick, pros and cons. Pro, I'm on the fence. I don't want. I don't know if I'm gonna, I watched the first episode. Do I keep going? Do I stop? You, you gotta keep going. Um, so like House of Cards, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a slow build and then there's huge payoffs. It, it just Huge payoff and dividends. Give me, give me a little hint cards, as though. to why I should keep going. Like just a little plot. Do you gotta just... find out what's on that train? Oh, no! you gotta find out what's on. That's that like train. the reason. What you are, you dog. You knew. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. Ace in the hole. Okay. All right. So that's your. So it, what? What can you find? But, a con in it. So when but, do you find what's on the train? Episode what? Just watch. Oh, just you watch. know. Uh, just watch. Give uh, me a con. A con. Um, don't watch it in English. You got to oh. put in the time. Please, okay. please don't watch it in English. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Adam, you got a pros cons? Uh, pros, yeah. Like I said, it's it was. There's a lot going on. Very good period piece. Um, very cool shots. Very well done. It's it's you know it, you can tell when shows are well done. And I sure. think They put a lot of effort and a lot of work into this. Cons, it is very busy mm-hmm. and it's kind of trippy. I don't really. I'm not a big fan of the trippiness. Right. Like you want to watch like oh it's like trippy LSD 1920 like no dude I don't I'm not about that yeah that's just not me sure so you know what it's funny that you say that word because that's exactly the first thing that wrote on there is is pretty trippy <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and I would and and the same thing I thought it was awesome I'm I'm not sorry I watched it but I don't know if there was enough hook for me to dig into the uh, yeah subsequent episodes keep you rolling yeah my pros visually gorgeous uh um cool cool story like you it sets you up for mystery and what's going to happen and who done it and whatever and there's a whole bunch of who done it's going on at the same time so that's cool if you're into that thing in that era very cool the con is uh do you want to invest in that you know is that something you want to do did it it didn't hook me enough to drag me on i don't think but, i've got to watch the next episode right it didn't get me there but it may for some people so that's my con personal con patrick a rebuttal i'm just trying to figure out what you guys found out that or what you guys found that was trippy about it was it like going back in time to this piece or like i think even just like the intro was just it, just yeah. the way it was shot, that the, was, the graphics, it was it was mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. I, I liked it. I could see that like that first maybe three to five minutes. I could see that being trippy, but once you got past that, was it right. like... Right. No, I agree. No, I just wrote pretty trippy intro. Ah, uh, my... okay. Uh, I'm so sorry to crucify you. Trip out. Uh, rewatch recommend, Adam. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, rewatch. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep going. Patrick okay. kind of sold me on. Okay, it. I think All I'm right. gonna. I think I'm gonna tr- give it another try. Nice work, Patrick. What's your rewatch recommend? Yes and yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes Pop yes, Steve. Yes. Uh, would I recommend it? Sure. Mm-hmm. Am I gonna rewatch it? <sighs> yes. Yes. I don't know. Yes, yes. and yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I'll go on, Patrick. Please. Okay. Please. I'm begging. Okay. Okay. Please, All right. Steve, if you say so. Okay. You can also listen to Pop Steve's podcast, uh, Prime Time. The Prime Time. Prime Time podcast. Can we say that on Netflix? You're on the 1990 Studios umbrella. You're under. Uh, you're under the umbrella. All right, everybody. This is the uh, Prime Time. <laughs> Prime Time podcast. Prime Time podcast. Easy for you to say. Is that Bezos on the door? <laughs> hello. That, hello, Bezos. Go back to your home. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. So rewatch recommend a. Uh, no, I'm not going to rewatch it and mm. to recommend it. Uh, give it a shot. Give episode one a shot. Guy, hey, hey, hey! Take it in the parking lot. Easy, uh, easy. We're gonna have to call. What's his name? Bertrand. Yeah. Uh, you don't want. Him he's to. a skeet shooter. I don't know if <laughs> I want to do. He's that. got a shotgun in his trunk of his Prius. Yeah, but you can see him coming. Though. Right. That's true. Yeah, um, a little meek. Give, give me a, a drink view, <laughs> clay AP, pigeons. if you could. Pussy. Man, drink view. That's tough. That is tough. Um, man, you want me to let you think on it? Let me think, Patrick. Give me a drink review for this one. 
so I gave it a zombie dust. How so? Because hmm. I, I, when zombie dust is on tap somewhere, rare and drunk. Yeah, you could you could find me just like the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> you could find me probably at least pounding one or two of them. Sure. And this one I pounded through four episodes, four uh, hour long episodes. So you talking about wheelhouses? Wheelhouse ooh. times three and a half. So right, it was really really good. So. Okay, Bob, Steve, you got a drink review for this one? Old Granddad, or you know, I in addition to Old Granddad. <laughs> I'd go with schnapps. Okay. Got to go with a little peppermint schnapps because once you've had a couple, you're about done. It's great. Yeah. It's great while you're doing it, but then after a while, it's like, you know what, I'm I'm about I'm about schnappsed out. Yeah. You're top schnapp. Mm-hmm. You're topped out schnapp. Topped out schnapps. Top, top. <laughs> right. Um, I uh, I have a, a martini, like a, like a vodka martini. Um, real decked out. It's a Pop Steve style martini. Does mm-hmm. all the mix and does all the everything. Chill this that. shaken not stirred. Exactly. You know, you got the olive in there. La la la. Dirty little and it's, dirty. And it's really, it's really busy. It's really good. It's really well done. But to me, I am not going to get a vodka martini regularly. Maybe if I had one on occasion, okay. But it's just not my drink. I. You know, vodka, fine. Glad Other I had kind of it. Martini. But I, thank you for making it for me. I'm not going to have another one. Adam, did you think of a drink of beer? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's move quickly along. Um, next one up is a very, uh, it's kind of a short film. It is a low budget, uh, kind of an indie film. It's called Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. A 2001 film, a meek hobbit from the Shire, and eight companions set on a journey to destroy the powerful One Ring and save Middle-earth from the Dark Lord Sauron. Sauron! 8.8 IMDb. 8.8. Have we ever done an 8.8? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's pretty high. That's probably the highest we've ever done. Yeah. And there's a bunch of ratings for it, so it's not like a... What was Dallas Buyers Club? Was that sevens or eights? That was eights. Maybe eight one or something. Maybe just little eight one. But... (laughs) All right, all right. Uh, adventure, drama, fantasy, runtime, 178 minutes. Patrick, talk to me about your wheelhouse. <sighs> yeah, about that. Yeah, $93 million dollar budget. 93 million minutes. I don't know if anyone's <laughs> heard of this film before. Sir Christopher Lee, Saruman, read The Lord of the Rings once a year until his death in 2015 and had done so since the year it was published and is the only member of the cast or crew ever to have met J.R. Tolkien. That's pretty cool. That's a cool fact. Yeah, doing research on this movie is a lot of fun. And there's two more of these bad boys out there. So. Okay. Uh, Orlando Bloom landed the role of Legolas two days before he finished drama school. Very interesting. Orlando... Now, when was his... Uh, um. I don't know. When was he doing? I thought he was in other stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's see what else we got. Gandalf's painful encounter with a ceiling beam and Bilbo's hobbit hole was not in the script, sir. Ian McKellen banged his forehead against the beam accidentally. Peter Jackson thought McKellen did a great job acting through the mistake and kept it in. And I was actually thinking, I watched this one last night and I saw him do that and I didn't know if it was staged or not. Yeah. And that proves it wasn't. And there's cool. a, so when we watch the second one, there's another cool fact about somebody injuring himself. Oh. Uh, some person injuring himself. No, nope, it's still self. got wrong. Okay, uh, cool. <laughs> go ahead and roll the trailer, Adam, if you could. You know, and then when what was one scene when uh, Aragorn's bow hits the camera? Oh, but it's in the movie. They left it in there. Nice. New line cinema. New line cinema. Legend just tells of a ring. Yeah, just a little tiny movie. I heard it made some noise at Sundance. That gave its wealth, People have heard of it. To enslave the world. Slave the world. The leaves lost for centuries. My pretty. Lost it for centuries. Is now been found. It is my. Ah, is it secret? secret? Is it safe? Is it safe? Is it safe? This is the one ring forged by the Dark Lord Sauron. Sauron. Sauron needs only this ring to cover all the lands of a second darkness. Darkness. He's seeking it. Seeking it all his thought is bent on it. Elijah Wood, Sean Astin, Orlando no Bloom, Sean Bean, Vigo Mortensen, Liv Tyler, Liv Tyler, Hottie. Hugo Weaving, Hugo Waving, Hugo, Brad Pitt, 
<laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> Horatio <laughs> Sands. <laughs> Sherry O'Terry. George Clooney. <laughs> Jeez, Thanks, everybody. Gene Smith of the Saturday Night Live Band. And your host. And they're not ready for primetime players. Matthew oh, no, McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all, all right, right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew McConaughey. All right, we took over this trailer. The, tra- the trailer is still playing. You guys like to watch the Lord of the Rings trailer? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. They're in a creepy mind. Oh, it's Gollum. He's a scary little man. Scary man. Swords. Bow and arrow, black horses, fireworks, fireworks. <laughs> romance, more arrows, more fire, wizard battles, more Liv Tyler, Lord of the Rings, the f- Fellowship of the Rings. <laughs> Sean the trilogy King. begins. So it is the Fellowship of the Ring. The Fellowship of the Rings? Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings? The Fellowship of the Ring. Okay. Um, Adam, talk to me about this one, man. Oh, dude. This is, of course, we were joking. Uh, 8.8 IMDb. What do you think about 8.8? Legit. 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 Okay. Oh, no doubt. Could be 9.8. Whoa, P-Funk. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the same thing as Adam, but he stole it from me. <laughs> P-Funk. This is top tier. 8.8, you're, you're down. <laughs> I think it's low. Papa Steve. <laughs> it's epic. Now, I kind of bad you. Not uh, was the last podcast. He's your own father. Indeed. And that's why I'm allowed to do it. I'm out of here. <laughs> now, I said last, I think it was last week, you, maybe it was, I don't know, it doesn't even matter. You, we watched Lord of the Rings probably in the early 2000s, right after its release. And I remember you going, what the heck? Nothing, this is a long movie and nothing even happened. What I recall was, I remember S. Joel Norman from sjoelnorman.com. Okay, you gotta watch, man. You gotta for sure watch this ending because it's gonna be really cool. And we're watching. I'm going like, when is it? Tell me when that part's coming up. It's right now. Oh, let down. But that wasn't. Or, but that wasn't Lord of the Rings. That wasn't this movie. That was this movie. I remember because he. And I may be wrong because I went to the theater to see this one more times than I've ever seen anything else. I probably saw it seven times in theater. I would mm-hmm. say. Yep. Um, and because of how epic it was, but I just remember being so excited telling you, and you were just like, meh. But what do you think now? There probably wasn't any car chases or anything. That's true. Talk to me now. What do you think about it? I thought it was epic. I, I have to be honest. I didn't watch the whole thing for the podcast this time. Okay. But, I mean, it was it was super cool. You know, great effects. I'm not... This, this particular genre isn't my thing. Sure. But it was... I mean, as far as a, as a movie and everything, I thought it was super cool. Uh, I kept looking at Hugo and going, Mr. Anderson. Right. I just kept, that. that's, that's the only thing that kept going to my head. But mm. it was it was cool. Yeah. It's not my it's not my thing, but it was certainly a great movie. Right. I'm not going to, I can't take anything away from uh, it. Patrick, you're not a Lord of the Rings fan. Tell me what you thought of this one. <laughs> Whoa! I'm uh, kidding, of uh, okay. course. I think, yeah, cause... Now, I think the first time I ever met Patrick, it was at Adam's house playing Lord of the Rings Risk, and he was dressed as a Hobbit. If I'm not that was mistaken. very with the ear, he had elf ears, which is his uh-huh. costume was all uh-huh. off. But so yes, that's I think how I met Patrick for the first time. So you're obviously a fan. What do you think about this? one? Yeah, this like I've probably seen this movie a billion times, right? And that's not wow. exaggerating. That's a sure. lot. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot yeah. of times. So like, I, and I always feel something watching this because there's there's trials and tribulations that every character's going through they start at one point they end at another in just this movie so i mean when they're ganging up uh, they're all together i'm like i'm feeling happy when something happens to one i'm like i'm feeling sure. something so right. like this is my gold standard of like you have to feel something when you watch a movie you're so. very i'm uh, with you on that you're very tied in with the characters emotionally. Yeah, and it really sets up each character for something in the movie for the next two. Because this is a setup movie, but sure. at the same time, it's it, not it's, really. It a, can stand alone. Yeah, definitely, yes, right. definitely. Adam, Lord is of the, this Rings. the Is this is this the first one? Because there's like a how many? This are is there? this like, is this is the first one of a trilogy. Of the Lord like of the three? Rings trilogy. Okay. Then there's another three that Peter Jackson did with the Hobbit, based off one book. Okay. And then there's the Cerulean, which is 
before the Hobbit, way back there, sure. during like when uh, which you there's a couple nods to a long, as, long time ago in a galaxy we, far, far away. Yeah, okay. as well, we, same galaxy, uh, just far away. They okay. did some shots through uh, Bilbo's house, and you can like see him like looking at maps and stuff, mm-hmm. and that's all from that book. There's there's so many nods sure. throughout this series to something that hasn't happened in the cinematic universe yet. Yes. but it, 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 it everything ties in with everything that Peter Jackson did, and I I'm so proud that it translated so well from the book to the screen mm, so yeah. i mean it's very hard to do it and they just nail on the head and then they just drilled it one hit with a hammer right through nice so. uh adam lord of the rings fellowship of the ring yeah man talk to me huge fan love it it's amazing i i you know when people say oh you know it's fancy Oh, I don't want to watch that. Yeah, uh, orcs, elves. I'm like, right. dude, dude, open up your mind. Do you like do action? Do you like? Do you like the story of the human do you like, plight? <laughs> do you, Do you like this tale of are good you human? and evil? Are yes you, or no? Answer yeah, the question. <laughs> are you really alive? Do you have a soul? You yeah. Have a soul? Yes. Can or you no? lose yourself in a society defying world? Right. With an alternate history. Mm. I mean, I don't know. I I love it, dude. It was. I remember when I was the when it first came out. So this was two thousand and one. Right. So I was just a wee lad. I was uh, 12, 13? 12, 13. I remember when the movie was coming out. My dad, he's a big fan of this series. Series, sure. He came into my room. And he's like, "Lord, they're making a Lord of the Rings movie." Yeah, I was like, "Okay, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. What is what is Lord of the Rings?" It's like a ju- movie about jewelers. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Dad? <laughs> and then he goes, "No, no, no. Here, I got you these books." Read these books. Right. We're gonna go see this movie when it comes out next month. Yeah. So I started reading The Hobbit, and I'm like, oh my god, there's like 14 of these dwarves. I gotta keep all these characters straight. Right. All right, whatever, whatever. And then he's like, you read the book? I'm like, yeah, dad, let's go. All right, we'll go. <laughs> so we go. So we go see the movie, and I'm like, whoa, this is great. But it was freaky though. Yeah. Like, because these orcs are scary. For uh, I was like terrifying. 12 years old. I was I re- like, yeah. I was freaked out. Right. But I still loved it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and it was awesome. And now I totally understand what he was trying to get me to love and enjoy. Sure. You know, I was just a little young, but I remember care. a story sim- on the same lines. I don't remember if they came out. I don't even think they were out yet. And your dad had screeners for, I want to say all of them. And we watched them on a baby DVD player. Cause your dad burned them on a DVD player. <laughs> he had screeners. So at the bottom it said for, you know, new line, eyes only he was he, he, he was down he was, he was super into huge this. fan yeah. now i'm gonna uh, this is why i'm sitting so far back on this side of the oh, table no. i haven't visited um this film in a very long time i would maybe say a decade maybe who knows but i watched it again last night again for the first time in a decade and i was not as reeled as my seven or eight Patrick, theater viewing in 2001. What this podcast was born out of us standing around a table talking about movies that won 10 years ago but can't hold up today, or won 20 years ago and don't hold up today, or did, or whatever. That's how we this podcast was birthed. So I went back and watched one. It is a 17 year old movie. I did not find it was great to relive. Love the characters, love the story. But watching this film again to me was just I don't know what what happened with this 2001 Dale so separated from 2018 Dale. I just didn't get I didn't love it as much as I did. I love the characters and the story made so much more sense to me as far as how the characters were involved, but why did I I don't even want Adam to answer. I'm not even going to look at Adam because I don't even want to look at those eyes. Because he'll break my heart. So what is it? It was a, it was fun. I don't know. I, didn't I don't know fi- what to tell you, I man. didn't find the like, weight behind it. I love the story. I love the characters. But I didn't find its majestic quality, this larger than life. It doesn't hit me like 2001. Why not? I, I completely feel the complete opposite. You're still enthralled I, I with like the it, majesty of this I film. Like I like it, it even more. more. I like it even more. Sure. Okay. Because now I know everything that's going on. I know all the lines. I know everything. You know How it ties into the future. How it ties the into the future and the past and everything sure. about it. The weight of it. You can appreciate it so much more. Right. Like We explore Netflix. We see a lot of Bad movies. <laughs> right. Tank four thirty two. When you watch, I don't right, know. You don't I, get to poop on Tank forty three and this in the same cat. That's the line. Yeah. So when when a, when a gem like this comes along, 
I don't know how from a sheer podcasting movie watching break of mm. a quality film like that's that's kind of why i put it on the docket right because you know it's an this old, was like a ringer it was yeah it yeah. was like a ringer. <laughs> right. this yeah. saves this covers our other ones but yeah. it's old like i haven't watched this in a long time mm-hmm. you know it's good to catch up we talk about rewatchability sure i mean this is like we're we're de- we i almost want to watch this movie every like 10 years just to keep up with it. sure and you know what i feel kind of the same way you do dale from a movie standpoint it was super cool yeah I mean the the action and the characters and the scenes and the shots and the, the CG. S- the story it is was super incredible. awesome. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's that's cool. Well, here's the thing, and I'm gonna go. I'm 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 building this as I'm going. Now, listen to this. I love James Bond. The story of James Bond, his past. Everything James Bond does is super. The story of James Bond is great. Does he wear a Rolex? Uh well yeah of course he does okay. actually a similar watch to what you're wearing right now Pop Steve okay is the origin of uh but anyway to that effect later on um you're talking the, about James Bond I'm sorry I know but later on the movies fell off from especially with Daniel Craig do I love James Bond as a whole yes the story is great the idea behind him great but it's just now it's just not as good as it was. This story of Lord of the Rings, it's epic. It's a huge tale involving so many people. It's just a giant, majestic ball of fire rolling through the atmosphere or whatever. It's epic. It's absolutely epic. But watching it 18 years later, I took away so such a different idea. I love the characters, and I, for some reason, wasn't worried about their plight i felt i was taken away more from like what the characters interacted together was i looked at gandalf in so much more of a fatherly way than i did in 2001 but the epic uh uh like what i should been like excited by in this film i wasn't i loved this for the nuances as we talked to patrick there's i remember this time there was shots of bilbo's house which played into past books not movies yet at that time in 2001. And I was like, man, where did I miss that in 2001? I loved it in different ways now, but I was let down in different ways now than I was back then. Very interesting. I thought it was a big old thing back then. Now it's much more nuanced and the characters were a lot bigger. I don't know what changed for me. Adam, has it? what do you feel now watching it a decade after you watched it last? I mean, I... I feel like it's one of the all-time great tales. Sure. I remember when you first, when we first watched this movie, Mm -hmm. you went and got the books. Yeah. And you called me as soon as you finished reading Twin Towers. You're like, Gandalf's alive! (laughs) Yes. I was like, what? He's like, he comes back! I'm like, no, he fell into the pit. You don't even know, Adam! Like, so now that Dale is gone and dead, yeah. which is sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew last night, I'm watching You're this. You're dead film. to me. You're dead to me. <laughs> I'm watching this film last night going like, oh no, I'm not feeling it like 13-year-old Dale is, and I have to talk about it you tomorrow. Were 13-year-old and it, I got to sit across from Adam. I, have, I couldn't sleep last time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, uh, that's a bummer, dude. But, but I, it, just, I, I don't hate. I, okay, I don't, I'm not bashing the movie. I what know, I'm you saying, have that same oh, me, the epicness of it was gone, but the nuances of it were anew to me. Patrick, if, uh, I, 10 years, or you watch it probably every six to eight hours. What? Yeah. Um, At least I tried to. But like 2001, Patrick. 178 minutes. 2018, Patrick. What? Do you, do you feel anything different? Has it grown for you? Yeah, in different every, ways? Time, every time I watch it, it gets a little bit better. But okay. that whole spiel you'd went on, it just felt like you were trying to explain the world's flat to me. And I just don't understand how you can feel. It's not? Oh, Wait a second. Geez. The Norman. Hold on. Okay. Elon Musk proved it. <laughs> But no, I just I don't well, understand. Well, when you saw when uh, Gandalf's firework went over the hill at the Shire and exploded, it went below the horizon, and that wouldn't happen. Hello, flat Earth confirmed. <laughs> no, but go on. What, no, what, I, I just I just don't understand how you can't like it more. You can't appreciate. It. It's like a fine wine. It's just aging better and better every time I watch. I it. I found more nuances more interesting than I found the grandeur of the story. Uh, as impactful, if I could say that. Well, I, I can't say that. Is I, it I, a word? It's my impactful. Sure, is it? I had to look it up. Okay. Oh man, you sound like those people that just say, "Why didn't the eagles fly the ring to Mordor?" No, no, no. See, I knew Short-sighted. I'd get hate for that because uh, 
because you know minds can't evolve as why quickly as mine. But I can give you a very detailed position why the Eagles couldn't fly the ring. I mean, now that you say that, I'm now I'm now I'm now I'm thinking about that. They couldn't do it. Can't be done. Can't be done. First of all, the Eagles are beings. They sure. don't take orders from anybody. You know, Gandalf. They'll help Gandalf out in a jam, but they're not going <laughs> to just do whatever Gandalf wants them to do. Second of all, Sauron has spies everywhere. They see those eagles coming from a mile away. They those send are big the, ass eagles. They send the Nazgul. They intercept right. them. Rings done. Tails over. Boom, they you gotta you gotta sneak them in. You should have stealth eagles. Yeah. And besides, yeah. now there's a movie. <laughs> The eagles live on the east side of the Misty Mountains, so maybe Gandalf had to get across the mountains to talk to him, but he falls into the pit in the Mines of Moria, so mm. he can't get to the eagles to ask them to fly away. Bell Rock. Wait, so, hang on. Bell Rock. <laughs> All right. Uh, Demon from the No, so I want to fight back, okay. you guys. I love okay. the movie. The movie is great. I'm. F- What's your beef then, dude? I have no beef. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> You're <laughs> looking for a fight. You're looking for a what fight. Are you just I'm not saying, like, give you one. don't feel the same way. Like, why? It's not to me. The storyline isn't as giant and epic as we think it is. What makes it great is the little baby things that happen in between the characters and how the little nuances make the characters grow and stuff like that. The big, huge story thing just doesn't uh, rock me anymore. That's my opinion. It's not a fight. It's my opinion. Okay. I'm like, I think it's kind of a fight. Uh-huh. It's definitely a fight. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, it's not, it's not a fight. Set the ring up. Let's go. It's not. Trust me. It's not a fight. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's what I think. Let's. Uh, is there anything more? It's gonna be to... Lord of the Ring fight. Hey, get inside the ring! Yay! Ding ding ding! Um, <laughs> what more can we add, Adam? What do you got for this one? I mean, let's. Can we do a pros and cons? Or is there any more cool facts you wanted to add? I mean, most people know about this one, of course. Yeah, I mean, pros, epic tale. Definitely sure. watch it. You got to watch it. I mean, it's so good. It gets better with with time. Like a fine wine. It's yeah. There's so many little nuances you pick up. This time, I was thinking, you know, it might have almost been better if they made it six movies instead of three movies. Because I feel like each book was almost too long to make into a movie. So if he made each, if he made two per book, I think he could. It could have been even better and more epic. Sure. I, I, you saying that kind of brings up how they stretched the Hobbit into three movies, right? And I feel like them stretching the Hobbit into three kind of really just killed the Hobbit for me. Mm. So I'm glad that they did three of the fellowship and see, could have got away with two of CGI Hobbit. orcs killed the Hobbit for me. Uh, but mm. I think, t- yeah, I yeah. think if you do two movies because the deleted scenes are great. Oh yeah. The worst part about watching this movie on Netflix, there's not the deleted scenes, the extra 45 minutes that are awesome. Hmm. That's okay. probably the worst part. That's probably my biggest con Your about con watching right the movie there, on okay. Netflix. Not, not the d- extra bonus DVD. <laughs> You're looking at coverage. the notes, right? Next on the podcast is going to be the deleted scenes Podcast <laughs> explorers. <laughs> Damn, Patrick, that. give me your pros, cons. My pros is it's one of the greatest movies ever made. Okay. It's the best epic. It translates from book to screen. Every That's the true. whole entire thing is there. But what's not there is the deleted scenes that they took out, and that is one of the greatest like extras like yeah. when when i when i see dvd I commentary and everything now i'm like well i'm not gonna watch that but i watch it with all of the rings i was like oh, the movie's so much better with the commentary yeah. right yeah, the movie's but, so much better with the extra scenes it's so much better but you can't really release a that was the greatest bonus dvd ad additions to ever yeah it's, it's, it's in cinema itself. history <laughs> the, the fellows the first fellowship of the ring i think my mom wanted it at a raffle and she had like this big like bonus set of it and she's like oh here i got this for you i won it. i was like oh and i'm looking at it, I'm like what and i folded it up, i'm like okay two what, six what? eight what the, signed, there's, it's signed yeah. by peter jackson oh i, I would be mom here anyway <laughs> she is wonderful that's good uh pop steve pros cons I thought it was a great movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's an epic. It it's 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 Star Wars. It's The Godfather. It's right. it's up there with the giants of cinema. It's not my particular thing, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to throw stones at anybody that thinks it's awesome. How much of it did you watch for the cast? For the cast, I think I probably watched about half of it. Half of it. Did you watch like the first to the, like where they declare and then you kind of cut it? Right. Okay. Yeah, cuz like the uh, the DVD box set, like the first two discs are up to that point, 
And I was like, oh, that was a great movie. And then I found out there was four more discs for it. I was like, this is wonderful. So, <laughs> oh, no, it was great. Like See, I said, it's it's not my thing. Right. So it didn't really that's, turn my crank. That's what, but I it was, was, that's what I was thinking. Like, when they get to Rivendell and the council, they could have, boom, ended that movie. Movie one. Movie one. You know, I was thinking, mm-hmm. like, I th- I really think I would be interested. Split it up. Or if I could talk up. to Peter Jackson, I'd bring that up to him. If you could rewind... Just, you'd cut it up. He's going to be at the house this weekend. Because what, what do people hate about Lord of the Rings? It's so long. It's mm. so long. I mean. It's out of the wheelhouse. It's, out, are it's out of the wheelhouse. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I know. So, dude, make it each. Make them all six, two and a half, two, yeah. two hour, 15 yeah. movies. Make it a or, series. Or you, just, or you just tell people, screw you. We're going to make it this big because it's epic. Because I'm me. Right. I'm Peter Jackson. Hello. Uh, are you? you got a, what was your con to that, Pub Steve? You got a con for it? I don't have a con for it. No I con? I thought it was cool. I yeah. just. It's just not my not my cup of tea. Uh, my pro is this thing. I'm watching it years later. I'm picking up more of it still. Can we give it a prestige effect? I think a rewatch I, only makes it better. I would rename prestige to the ringy effect. <laughs> That's the how, ringy yeah. effect. <laughs> we'll call it the ringy effect. It is here known as the <laughs> Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ringy Effect. Uh, <laughs> ringy? Um, but the cons is... I don't know. Person, personal con, Adam, don't start swinging. Watching it 17 years later, the epicness of the story just doesn't keep me going. So is it good for a first watch? Absolutely. Con is, uh, the con is that it uh, loses its epicness, I think, for me. Easy. Um, easy. I'm going to go into rewatch, recommend. Yes, yes, and another yes for everything else. Uh, I will definitely rewatch it again, and um, I hope the other movies are going to be on the upcoming I'll docket. It. I'm assuming it will be. Okay. Not confirmed they're going to be on the next films. I haven't seen anything, but okay. if it is, I'll so fight for it. So watch them. it now. Recommend you keep on going and watch the next couple films. Adam, rewatch, recommend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does it need to be answered? <laughs> yes, please. What do you got, Patrick? I've probably recommend? seen this movie, no joke, at least 15 times. With I've done, I've watched all the extra scenes, I've watched all the extra commentary. Like we had these DVDs, so I've right. s- seen it a ton. Yeah, and it's just it's cool to come back to stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Patrick, who watch recommend? Oh yeah, I I love watching this movie. I love watching the other two movies. I can't recommend it enough. It's a great movie, no matter what you say, Dale. It's just wonderful. So much hate. So much. But when you're a leader, you get that. You know what? <laughs> uh, Papa Steve, rewatch or recommend? Yes. And yes. And yes. Yeah. Nice. Can you flip the script and bring us down a liquor store aisle? I cannot. Ah. No. I didn't watch the whole thing. Oh, okay. I didn't watch the whole thing, so, so I just stepped into the liquor store. <laughs> didn't go down I didn't aisle. go down the aisle. <laughs> Patrick, it's a very long liquor store. You it's didn't a long want to aisle. like... Patrick, it's a long aisle. It I'm takes ex- you 178 minutes to get down there. Oh, yeah. That's full, full sprint. I, I'm excited for your drink review. What are you bringing down the liquor store aisle? I can't really pin a single drink to it, because I don't think I've ever had anything that is as good as a good enough drink to compare to this movie oh, song. Is okay. there an Thank elven it. drink or something? <laughs> an elvish wine. It's a little, wine. little bread that fills you up all the day. Okay. You know, you know, I think, but uh, I don't know. It's like it's like water to me. Like I need it to live, and I just love this movie, and I need wow. this movie to live. So. Not even like it's caffeinated water. water or anything. Just no, just cool. It's like just it's just water coming off of waterfalls and beautiful New Zealand. stream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, drink, Adam. You got a drink one for this one, or can you just say? Uh, yeah, dude. I was. I'm. I got a couple of them. Okay. I couldn't decide. Usually, You'll give one to Papa Steve. And, I need one. All right. Well, usually I would say Makers and Ginger because that's Ooh, my go-to drink. Sure, okay. Drink it all the time. Okay. Anyone says Adam, you want to make her ginger? Yes. You want to show the reach? A, yes. Is that a question? Where we should hang out more. You have great recommendations. <laughs> I like it. Let's become friends together. <laughs> <laughs> or I was thinking like maybe McKellen 18 that I like made the whiskey myself and then I waited 18 years on the shelf and I was like, one day I'll come back to you. But no, that didn't work. So I right. mixed that one. But you could have that well, one. Well, it's actually, <laughs> I'll take, I'll take as that Patrick one. said, it's aged in the barrel, not in the yeah, bottle. Mm. No, I'm just disappointed that or, that uh, you, you felt the, the tale wasn't as epic. I mean, I, was it just like the classic 
few good men against incredible odds to defeat evil just doesn't it's I not just epic do that. enough for you i do that so often <laughs> so on you're a daily not american basis. is I'm what just, you're saying so you hate america so you hate america <laughs> oh, okay. okay when did you start supporting isis okay. so, you don't, so you don't so you don't have a soul <laughs> that's what's happening that thing oh oh i see oh i see you don't have a soul oh okay. you don't have a soul okay, okay. okay. great oh so you hate fine. hate humans okay. ginger okay. terrorist right yeah exactly <laughs> that's right that's okay right. isis so you like isis okay <laughs> okay i got it okay um no that's good no that's this is a uh, this is a vintage whiskey for me too. Uh, it's a it's um, yeah we'll call it eighteen years old because the movie is so mm. it's just it's a it's on its own it stands by itself it doesn't it I don't think it you don't even need ice it doesn't need anything it doesn't need to be drink in a place at a time it's just in itself a good drink an eighteen year old scotch or something like that. Single malt, you know, from the from the stormy seas, just off the stormy seas in uh, Scotland. But anyway, um, that's uh, that's mine for this one. But um, we got to get off the fence here, boys. It's the movie of the week. Do I even have to guess? Adam, movie of the week. Oh, Lord of the Rings, dude. Patrick. Well, if I have to pick, I might have to give it the Babylon Rings. Uh, or, no, 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 no. Lord what? of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. rings. Right. Babylon Rings? Baby Rings. Baby, Baby Rings. Babylon Rings. Uh, Horseman! <laughs> Who said that? Oh, no. Pop- it's it's got to be. It's got to be Lord of the Rings. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I got to agree with you on that one. Papa Steve, where can people find out more of the Netflix Explorer? 1890studios.com? Is okay. That- that's that's what I was going to say. Um, I you know We're up on Facebook, people. Become our friend. Follow everything we do. We release our shows on Facebook, but we release them on Twitter too. We are at the NetX, N E T E X. Um, Adam wants to know why you love Lord of the Rings. Adam at 1890studios.com. Patrick wants to know what you want to put on the website. Patrick at 1890studios.com. Why are they not watching the live feed? You can hop on the live feed. Just email me for the link. I'm Dale at 1890studios.com. I will get you the password. Also, 20% off from day-light.com. Um, Daylight Windows, everybody. That is our sponsor for this podcast. Uh, Papa Steve, thanks so much for being on the show, man. Man, I am so glad you invited me back. It's been too long. I've had a blast. Good. Patrick. Good to see you, brother. You too, Adam. Great docket. Great docket. It's probably the last time docket, I'll say it this dude. year, so I might as well say it now. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, man, we got more good ones coming up. Dale had a. Uh, what we got next week? Next week is uh, we got uh, John Palak is joining the podcast. John next Palak week. will be on the cast next week. Yes. That'll be exciting. And then we're doing uh, Altered Carbon. Alter Carbon, new he, show out to Netflix. A guy wakes up, he's all slimy, looks matrixy. I don't know. I want to check it out. Moon, Moon, Sam Dale. Rockwell, yeah. Kevin Spacey. Yep, that movie looks cool. Yep, uh, I, I checked out the trailer today. I was like, yep, let's put that on the docket. Yes. And then uh, there was one more. There was a uh, Men Who Stare at Goats. Ah, mm. George Clooney. Yes, George okay. Clooney. Yep, that he's got a was. mustache. We will uh, we will be back next week to go through those. We want to thank you guys for listening and from the Netflix Explorers. So long. Areva Dirty. Peace. Don't tell me what to do. Okay.